Hello and welcome, I am Rofaxon, and today I'm going to be teaching you about infusion altars a little bit. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm playing Skyblock, and if you go to your Wizard Steve, one of the quests here is to make a great wood sapling, but I got really confused about how to do that. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is make an infusion altar. Now, uh, these nodes here are totally a cheaty, uh, creative thing, so you would never have something like this. Remember, you first need to research stuff. To research, you need to scan stuff, so just hold this and uh, right click and then, you know, you get whatever sort of research notes. And then once you have all the different components made, and you do sometimes have to do them in the right order, and there are a hundred tutorials for that, you will go here and um, you'll have to unlock these. Like I could unlock this, but I can't because that star thing is blinking and what I do there is uh, I just go to a research table find out what two things need to go together so like if I wanted to make this it needs greed and avarice so I'd find those click on the first one click on the second one and then combine them but you probably know how to do all of that if you're this far along in the quest because it's sort of necessary in earlier quests so the first thing you need to do is make an infusion altar like I said, but when you open your book you don't just have infusion altar here. What you have to do is, or you might go to this extra stuff and and um, look for the great wood sapling, but this might not be researched and you might be like, well I've gotten all the aspects so why is it not researched? It's not researched because you need to do the infusion altar first. Now I believe to get the infusion altar you should have your thermometer, thermometer, anyway, um, then you have to get the goggles of revealing, which make it much easier to see aura notes anyway. You have to research those, and then research the arcane ear, and then I believe that will make the infusion altar show up. So you just click on this, and there's some pieces you need, and, you know, as these always do, uh, to make an anvil, you need the arcane stone blocks in this formation on your arcane workbench, and then uh, five of the air in your wand. To make the arcane stone blocks, you can click on that and see it's just smooth stone around a shard. So, for example, if, if I wanted to make that, um, you first see, you know, how much is in this, this iron wand. Uh, you know, I'll do this. And, and that would make it. Now, if I took the iron wand away, it wouldn't make it because it needs five air, but I can make it because I have the five air now, and that will take two of my five air from that wand. So, sure you're familiar with that, but there's that. Okay, so when you look at this, most of them make sense. Uh, arcane workbench, okay, like that, and you need the air. Um, this actually tells you how to make it, what it needs to look like. You've got the arcane stone bricks, the altar in the middle, stone blocks up another level in the runic matrix as the final level. Now, the arcane stone bricks are really easy to make. They don't need any sort of element stuff. You just do four of the arcane stone blocks and then you get the stone brick. So you would probably be making those, but you would notice that the runic matrix uh, stuff you probably have but it takes 40 ordo and the wand you are given so far only has the ability to take 25 of any particular ordo so uh, the first thing you need to do while I'm right here with these little cheaty notes is fill up your wand because when you when you um, make this actual infusion altar you are going to have to have a full wand because it takes uh, the entire charge of the wand. So I can do that now, but that does not explain how we, you know, actually make that, that runic matrix. And here is what it is. Once you have researched infusion, and remember you won't see the, the tree until you research infusion, it won't be an option come back here and research this sky filter thing because you are going to need that and also re, um, research sky matrix because here you know it's using these materials which are slightly different but it's only using um, 10 of each of these and you will actually have that. Now a mixed crystal clutch cluster is um, just something you would make 
like in a regular crafting bench. So this is it, and you can click on that for the recipe since I'm in creative, I can't click on it. But it's just basically all of the other um, shards put together. So as we said, we start with the altar in the middle. So let's do that. And then the bricks, which are four of the blocks put together, that square pattern. Okay, and then the stone blocks on top of that. Okay, easy enough. Now remember the art, the rune, the runic, whatever it's called, runic matrix has to go a level higher, the third level. Now I did not get myself a pickaxe, so let me do that. And um, it it has to have a blank space, you know, above it and then on all four sides. So you want something that looks like this, and then you're going to have to click on it with a wand. And boom, there it goes. Now you've got a runic matrix. Okay, so what you would do at this point in time is go back into your EXA, and then this should be researched. So you'll just have to click on it and spend the points to research it and see that you need a bunch of stuff, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. All, right, all of this, no, no, no. And you see here, these are the things you need around it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, that's eight things. Well, your altar is just not nearly big enough to hold that much. So you are going to need to make it a little bit bigger. And that's easy enough to do. Now, one of the things that I will mention is in the book it talks a lot about everything being even or uh, symmetrical. So as you're making this bigger or whatever, just make sure you do it symmetrically. So I would like want to knock out a row like this, blah, blah, blah. And, and then, like my first level, I just made it out of uh, the, the blocks directly underneath. So, okay, you add these blocks, so on and so forth. All right, now you've got the blocks. And see, it's still symmetrical. Uh, let's add another block. Now, for me, the symmetrical thing isn't a big deal because I like things symmetrical anyway. Now, I wanted to add a brick, but notice I add the brick here and here and here and here. So it remains symmetrical. And then I'm going to maybe add the blocks around here, you know, like this, then like that. All right, now my goal here is to make it big enough that you can actually have eight pillars. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. And, you know, you could make the whole giant thing first and then activate it if you wanted to. Now, sometimes this just simply does not activate right. You know, you'll click on it with a wand. The first thing, make sure your wand is full, because you notice I used, like, all of my aspects when I actually made that. So do make sure your wand is full. Um, one time I had to, like, break the blocks underneath it so it was basically floating, and then it would activate for some reason. It's just really fiddly. Um, now I need eight pillars, so I'm going to put them, keeping it symmetrical, put them on the corners, and then... Um, right in front of that stone brick, and also maybe get shot by skeletons a little bit. Ah, you're distracting me, skeleton. I'm doing something here. Okay, so here. This looks good, right? Well, there's one more thing you should probably do. This is an unstable reaction, they say, and for whatever reason, these skeleton, these skulls, anyway, from the way I understand it, these skulls make it a little more stable. So it's just easier. You'll have less crazy exploding things and stuff. There's also a candle that you can make. The, the candles are a bit of a pain. Uh, no, they're really not. Uh, it, there's actually a quest. I think there's a quest to make candles. Maybe there's not a quest to make candles. Uh, but they're pretty easy. But they use the, the cauldron thing or whatever it is. So, um, here, I will show you in case you are curious how to make candles. They're gonna be not in, they're gonna be in the alchemy section, uh, under Crucible. You can research magic tallow. 
Uh, so basically you'll throw something in that has the precampatio aspect and you'll throw a zombie brain in and you'll get a magic tallow cancel magic tallow um, thing and then you'll just um, go in here and look up the recipe which uh, I can't because I'm in creative but it's just two of those tallow waxes and then a string on top so easy enough anyway this is our first step we want we want all of this to be um, we want all of this to be made and it is it's ready to go so we go back to the book and we go in here you've unlocked this and you see we need these witch waters shimmer lays and all this but then we need tons just tons and tons of stuff to put in it so in the next video I'm going to show you the system of how you get all of this stuff close enough that it can actually be absorbed in when you do the final ritual to make this uh, this tree thing. So um, there'll be a link to that next episode in the description, so uh, check it out, and I will see you then. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.